For whatever reason, when Apple came out with the base model M4 Mac Mini, it just seems that the SSDs they chose specifically in the M4 Mac Minis aren't as powerful as even the M4 Pro Mac Mini. So do keep that in mind. We're talking about a Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 drive here. And if you're a M4 Mac Mini Pro user, you do have Thunderbolt 5. So I would get a Thunderbolt 5 drive for that computer. This product, I would specifically pair with Thunderbolt 4 devices. Now, let's talk about the value of upgrading the internal SSD on the M4 Mac Mini because it costs around $400 to upgrade to one terabyte while the Orico Minimate costs $149 to upgrade to a terabyte. That's a savings of over $250. Sure, upgrading your internal SSD, you get a smaller profile compared to using a drive like this, it's much easier to set up for the everyday person. And on top of that, it's much cheaper. Also, the SSD speeds we're seeing of these third-party internal SSDs are the same as what Apple's giving us. So we're still getting faster speeds out of the external SSDs like the Minimate. Now, let's look at another game-changing use case. Turning your M4 Mac Mini and Orico Minimate into a compact, low-power remote server. 